Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm going to show you some fun ways to make your own lattice shapes. And this is in conjunction with the lattice maker, but we're not even going to be using the lattice maker. We're going to create our own lattice shapes and it's a lot of fun and all you're basically using are a couple of buttons that are in the Funtime 2010 software. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is go over to my shapes menu and I'm just going to find a shape that I want to work with and actually you know what this one looks good so I'm going to click on the star shape and I'm actually going to leave it the exact size that it is and I'm just going to close the shapes menu with the image selected with the little black boxes around it I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to move to the word that says multiply and I'm going to left click on that now as for number of copies I really don't want a lot because I'm using the actual size I'm not changing the size of this I'm just gonna click on 5 and as for spacing I don't want there to be any space I want it to actually overlap so I'm going to change this I'm going to do minus 0 0.03 and uh, that is for the left and right and also for the up and down I'm also going to change it to minus 0 0.03. Now you can actually experiment and try different things but I find that if I'm using the exact size that's coming out of the shapes menu and I'm changing it to let's say 0 0.03 or 4 or 0 0.05 as long as it's minus you should be okay. So anyways just experiment you'll have a lot of fun doing this. Now that the image is selected I'm going to click on the arrow pointing up and I'm going to click on OK and as you can see it's slightly overlapping and this is exactly what I want I don't want any space in between I'm just going to click on all so I can see the entire uh, image I'm going to just draw an imaginary box around everything so they're all selected and by clicking on the right mouse button on my mouse I'm going to go down to multiply again and this time because 0 0.03 is in the left and right angle I'm going to click on the arrow pointing to the right once that's been pressed I just click on OK and now click on all now none of these are uh, welded together they're all um, single things that are overlapping on top of each other so I'm just going to draw an imaginary box around all of these and now that I've got them all selected just using the little handle at the corner here I'm just going to drag them onto my blank page and bring them down now the reason I do this is because I have a lot of ghosting issues with my computer and I notice that if I have things on my blank page I don't tend to have any ghosting issues now I'm just going to click on all so we can get a better view of this and the next thing I'm going to do while this is selected I'm going to go over here and this button uh, is called group with transparency I'm going to click on that now this item is grouped up so I can now center it if you don't know where your centering button is you click on your justification button which is right here and this toolbar that I've moved down to the bottom of my screen will appear up here centering is done using the red button you can also center over here but I like to use the red button now that that's done I'm just going to color fill it white and I'm going to go back to my shapes menu and this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for the heart I'm going to click on the heart close the shapes menu and I'm going to make the heart a lot bigger so probably around here I don't like this little black portion that is around the heart even though it won't do anything different when you cut it it is annoying to me so while it's selected you could either type in 0 0.03 or you could just type in 0 regardless of what you do if it's 0 or 0 0.3 it will always default to 0 0.03 I like to just click on the slider and sometimes I'm lucky this time not and move it all the way to the left hand side now with the image selected I'm just going to send it to the back so it's behind it's still selected so I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard and using the left mouse button I'm going to hold it down and just move a copy to the other side next I'm going to draw an imaginary box around the stars and the heart and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this new button we have over here 
which is the one that um, merges the colors and anything that's white it takes it and it creates a file into one section so here we have the file it's already been created next thing that I'm going to do is because this is centered I'm just going to make this heart a little bit larger and then I'm going to center that as well I'm going to just click on the refresh so you don't see that ghosting image and you know what I think I'll just move this down a tiny touch Next thing what I'm going to do is draw an imaginary box around both of these images and I'm going to go back over here to group with transparency and now I have a new lattice heart. Now this is really simple, it's very quick. If I go into wireframe you can see that this is now a new lattice heart and you can cut it out because um, you can color fill it. So the trick is if you can't color fill it then it's not really a cutting file. Now I'm going to show you some images that I created using different shapes in the menu. Let me just make this image a little bit smaller and you remember that I had used the star for that. Now I saved them to my blue book so all I'm going to do is click on my fun time shapes, I'm going to click on the section I saved it to I'm just going to put them onto my main page so you can see what they look like. I'm just going to move this out of the way and we'll just make this a little bit larger so you can have a look. So this particular uh, lattice shape that you see over here was done using this shape which again is in the shapes menu under shapes and this is the uh, image I've I created from that. The next one is another lattice heart shape and this one was used using this shape now going over here you can see the love was used and I've done basically exactly the same thing I did and I've created this. Over here I find this one to be a really pretty one. Um, that was just done using this little shape over here and over here using this shape it, um, it looks quite interesting. Using the scissors I've created this. So now you can create any kind of lattice shape that you want using the um, little techniques that I've just showed you. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.